One of the hardest things sometimes is diagnosing thyroid eye disease. It's very commonly associated with Graves disease about 90% of the time. So sometimes when you see the eye findings associated with Graves disease, that's almost enough for diagnosis. But what do we need for the eye findings to be diagnostic of thyroid eye disease? Well, you need abnormal eye bulging, eyelid signs that are similar to what you find in thyroid eye disease, meaning inflammation or even restriction of extraocular movements, etc. This, these clinical findings then associated with Graves disease is almost 100%. Occasionally, also, we can do a CT scan, and if you have all the muscles or the majority of eye muscles enlarged, and the tendons are not enlarged, that's a very technical way of diagnosing thyroid eye disease. It's especially important for the 10% or so of patients that never have a thyroid problem, but get thyroid eye disease. In these cases, we have to work pretty hard for the diagnosis and to make sure of it over time to make sure it's not a cancer or any other issues associated with the eyes.